What's up YouTube, it's Fish Guy here, and today I'm going to be explaining to you the anatomy of a fish. So let's start out with the eye, which they use to see, obviously. And then right in front of that we have the nares, or the nostrils, which they use to smell things through the water. And right below that we have the mouth, which they use to inhale water for uh, breathing, which I'll explain later on, and also eating. Up top we have the dorsal fin, which is used for stability while swimming. And in the back we have the caudal or tail fin, which is used as the power for their swimming. They uh, propel themselves with this. Uh, the anal fin, also for stability. Same thing with the pelvic fin. And here in the middle we have the pectoral or arm fins, which they use for turning in the water and also for stability. So that's the external and the fins, and I'll come back to you guys with the organs. Hey guys, one last thing before I go to the organs, I just wanted to explain the different types of mouths that fish can have because this can determine the type of fish they are and you could learn a lot just from the type of mouth. So there's four types, the first one being terminal and terminal mouths are located right at the front and most fish with these mouths are predatory because this is made for hunting down and catching prey because it's right at the front of its mouth, it's the first thing. And uh, next up we have up-pointing, and these fish eat um, their prey off of the surface of the water, and their mouth helps them do that, for example like an arowana. Next we have subterminal, and they have a downward facing mouth located on the underside of their body, and these fish are bottom grazers and they get their prey off the um, ground or substrate. So an example of that would be like a quarry catfish or uh, sturgeon and the last category is specialized and this is a pretty broad category it just means that they have mouths that adapt to the kind of food that they eat for example this would be like an otocinclus catfish with a mouth for algae and this one would be a seahorse which also has a mouth that's uh, specialized for what they eat so they're a little bit different they're pretty uncommon and it fits the needs of the fish. Okay guys, here we go. This is the organs of the fish. And first off we have the swim bladder, which they fill up with a certain amount of gas to maintain buoyancy. That way they can stay at a current depth without having to waste energy staying at that depth. So if they want to increase in height in the water, they would fill it up with gas more. And as they want to stay lower, then they expel gas out of the organ. That way they become more dense and sink. And the swim bladder is also used for a uh, stabilizing agent so they're not turning too much in the water. And um, next we have uh, the gonads or the sex cells which they use to reproduce. And under that we have the stomach which they use to store food and digest it. Under that we have the gills which uh, when they open their mouth to take in water the water passes through their gills and oxygen is absorbed into the gills and CO2 is released out and that exchange of gases is what allows them to breathe in the water. Under that we have the kidney. Um, first off it filters impurities in the blood and for saltwater fish it keeps the salt out because of osmosis the salt wants to enter the saltwater fish's body so they need this kidney to keep the water out of it and for freshwater fish the salt wants to leave the fish uh, so it's the other way around. This kidney helps the salt stay inside of the fish. Under that we have the heart. And the heart plump, uh, has two chambers and circulates the blood and pumps it throughout the fish's body. Under that we have the brain, which is used to control the fish's functions. And under that we have the liver. And in some fish it is used to produce digestive enzymes. So there it is guys, the organs of a fish. Alright guys, one last thing. I have a picture of a German Blue Ram cichlid here and I just want to point out to you different parts that I explained earlier. That way you can see them on a real fish, not just a crappy drawing that I drew. So here you can see the eye and then you can't see in the picture but the nostrils are very very small right in front of the eye there. There's the mouth. Uh, German Blues have a really big dorsal fin so you can see that here. There's the caudal fin over here we have the anal fin 
and these are the pelvic fins. Uh, the pectoral fins are hard to see, they're clear on this fish, and in the picture you can't see them too well. So, I don't know what to do about that, but they're there. And over here we have the operculum, or gill cover, and right inside here is the gills. So that's it guys, that wraps up the fish anatomy, I hope you guys learned a lot, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.